If your Fortnite feels sluggish, or your builds aren't placing fast enough, it's not just your skill, it's your setup. In this video, I'll show you how pro players fine-tune their systems to unlock higher FPS, razor-sharp input, and lightning-fast responsiveness. So, watch till the end. Let's get started. Frustrated with lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Up Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Up Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. Let's start with keyboard delay fix. Search for the registry editor and right click on registry editor. Then select run as administrator to ensure you have full access. Inside the registry editor, focus on the address bar at the top. Paste the full registry path provided in the video description. This ensures you land directly at the location where the tweak needs to be applied without manually digging through folders. Once you're in the right place, look for a key named Keyboard Data Queue Size. If it doesn't exist, you can create it manually as a new DWORD 32-bit value. Now, double-click it to modify the setting. By default, it's typically set to 100, which allows the system to queue up to 100 keystrokes at once. While this might sound efficient, it introduces latency, something that's a nightmare for Fortnite players aiming for lightning-fast input precision. What the pros do? They reduce the queue size to around 65. This smaller buffer forces the system to handle keystrokes in real time, minimizing delay, and making actions like building, piece control, and editing feel noticeably more responsive. If 65 feels too aggressive or causes skipped inputs, you can try dialing it in with safer alternatives like 95, 90, or 85. Tweak and test until you land on the value that gives you the cleanest input feedback. Your keystrokes will register quicker, builds will place faster, edits will feel smoother. Important tip, before clicking OK, make sure the value format is set to hexadecimal, not decimal. This ensures the system reads your input correctly. Now it's time to improve your mouse precision enhancing registry tweak that many competitive FPS players use to tighten up their aim and reduce mouse input latency. Copy the next path from the description and paste it here, then hit enter. Once you land there, look for a key called mouse data queue size. If it's not already present, you'll need to create it yourself. Just right click on an empty area in the right pane, choose new DWORD 32-bit value, and name it exactly, mouse data queue size. Now double click on it to modify the value. By default, many systems don't have this value set at all, and when it is, it might default to something like 10 or 20, which is okay for general use, but way too conservative for fast-paced shooters. What we want to do is increase it to allow faster, uninterrupted mouse input. Competitive players often use a value of 64 in hexadecimal, which equals 100 in decimal. This gives your system more room to handle rapid input without delays or input skips. Raising the queue size reduces the chance of mouse data getting bottlenecked, especially if you're using a high polling rate mouse like 1000 Hz. It forces the OS to process your inputs faster, reducing lag and making aiming feel snappier and more direct. If 100 feels too high or introduces jitter, you can test values like 80 or 90 and dial it in based on your mouse and system response. If your goal is to achieve maximum FPS and zero input delay in Fortnite, make sure to grab my Fortnite optimization pack from the official website. The direct download link is available in the description below. Just head over to my official website, uptopacks.com. Once you're there, click on the FPS Boost tab. You'll instantly recognize the same title and thumbnail as this video, making it easy to find. Just click on it, and with a single click, you can download the pack. Let's start with one of the most impactful components in the Fortnite Performance Boost Pack, Windows Registry Optimization. Inside the folder, you'll find a set of pre-configured .reg files designed to cut latency, stop background drains, and boost overall system speed for smoother gameplay. Applying them is simple, just double click each file. These tweaks disable startup delays, telemetry, power throttling, and other hidden performance killers. They also enable key features like GPU hardware scheduling to improve graphics load handling during intense fights. Once applied, you'll feel the difference. Smoother movement, reduced stutter, and more consistent FPS. It's a fast, effective way to optimize your system, just like the pros do. All right, guys, now it's time to launch Fortnite and leave it running in the background. With the game active, open up Process Lasso. 
an advanced optimization tool that lets you control how Windows manages system resources in real time. The first thing you'll want to do is tweak your system's power profile. Head to the top and switch your power plan to bits some highest performance. This disables built-in Windows power saving limits, allowing your CPU and GPU to run at full throttle without restrictions. Next, go into the main dashboard and uncheck the features labeled Pro Balance, Smart Trim, and Idle Saver. These automatic features are great for power efficiency, but often interfere with consistent game performance. Turning them off ensures Fortnite runs without background interruptions. After that, enable Performance Mode in Process Lasso to boost system responsiveness even further and reduce the chances of micro stuttering during matches. Now, move over to the Active Processes tab and locate Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping. XE in the list. Right click it and set its CPU priority to high. This signals Windows to allocate more attention and resources to Fortnite, making it a high priority task. Then go into CPU Affinity and deselect Core 0 while keeping all other cores selected. This small tweak helps offload Fortnite's work away from the core often reserved for background Windows processes, giving the game a smoother and more consistent thread schedule. Next, for even more responsiveness, right-click Fortnite again, navigate to I.O. Priority and set it to High. This directly reduces input delay by allowing the game quicker access to system inputs and outputs. Also, change the memory priority to Always. This guarantees Fortnite has consistent access to RAM during gameplay, reducing hiccups or sudden slowdowns. And for the final touch, right-click Fortnite one more time, go to the More menu, and under Hard Throttle, select No Throttle. This makes sure Windows doesn't apply any hidden restrictions or power scaling when the game is under pressure. Once all these tweaks are complete, just minimize Process Lasso. It'll keep running quietly in the background, continuously ensuring that Fortnite is prioritized and optimized every time you drop into a match. Now let's move on to one of the most underrated tools used by competitive players to boost FPS and reduce input delay. Intelligent Standby List. Cleaner, um, ISLC. Once you've downloaded and launched ISLC, the first step is to configure it correctly to get the best out of it. In the top left input field, enter tend to be 4 This sets the minimum amount of free memory your system should maintain. In the next field below, enter half of your total RAM in megabytes. So, if you have 16 gigabyte of RAM, you'll type 8192. This setup helps ISLC efficiently clear out unused memory in the background, making your system feel more responsive while gaming. Now scroll down to the Wanted Timer Resolution section. Clear whatever value is already there and type in 0 0.50. Then check the box that says Enable Custom Time Resolution. This tweak is particularly important because it tightens up the way Windows handles timing operations, directly helping to reduce input latency and making your in-game actions, like building and editing, feel smoother and more consistent. Next, look at the polling rate setting. For most modern PCs, especially mid to high-end setups, set it to 500 MWs. But if you're on a low-end or older system, go with 1000 Ms. This higher interval helps prevent stutters or system instability during resource-heavy moments in Fortnite. Once you've adjusted all these settings, go ahead and check every available box in the ISLC window. Then click Purge Standby List to immediately clear unused memory and finally hit Start. The app will now work silently in the background. Don't close it, just minimize it. From here on, ISLC will keep your memory clean and your system responsive during intense Fortnite gameplay, helping you stay consistent in fights and keep FPS drops at bay. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. 
Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now open the NVIDIA control panel. This is a vital step for fine tuning your GPU to extract maximum performance in Fortnite. Once you're inside, head over to the Manage 3D Settings section. This is where many professional players apply essential changes that drastically improve game responsiveness, reduce lag, and boost frame rates for a much smoother competitive experience. Start by locating the power management mode setting. By default, it's usually set to an adaptive profile that balances performance and power efficiency. But for gaming, especially for a fast-paced title like Fortnite, you'll want to change this to prefer maximum performance. This forces your GPU to run at its peak clock speeds during gameplay, preventing it from downclocking mid-match and eliminating random FPS drops. Next, scroll down to texture filtering, quality, and switch it to high performance. This option tells your GPU to focus entirely on speed rather than ultra sharp visuals, an ideal trade-off for smoother frame rates. It reduces unnecessary strain on the graphics card by lowering the processing overhead of textures, which results in snappier input response and a more fluid gaming experience. Now launch Fortnite and head into the settings menu. This is where many pros begin fine-tuning their setup for maximum efficiency. One interesting choice you'll often see among top-tier players is the use of windowed full screen instead of the traditional full screen mode. While that might sound counterproductive, especially since Nvidia benchmarks suggest full screen mode offers slightly lower input delay, there's actually a method to the madness. Windowed full screen provides better compatibility with stretched resolutions, a common trick in the competitive scene. Not only can a stretched resolution offer a marginal FPS gain and reduce input lag, but it also slightly enlarges enemy character models, giving you a visual edge in gunfights. Next, head over to the game section and scroll down. You'll come across two energy saving options. Although these are designed for laptops and lower power consumption, Many players have noticed they introduce random stutters and inconsistent frame pacing during matches. That's why it's strongly advised to turn both of these off. Doing so helps maintain smoother frame delivery and more responsive gameplay. Just above that, you'll see the replay settings. These may look harmless, but they constantly record your gameplay in the background, quietly eating into both CPU and storage bandwidth. Most competitive players disable these to free up resources, helping to avoid any unnecessary slowdowns or lag spikes during intense moments. Now switch to the audio tab and scroll down to find the subtitles section. Here's a subtle tweak that often flies under the radar. Turn subtitles off, set text size to extra small, change the text color to white, disable the text border and set background opacity to clear. While these might seem like cosmetic preferences, they actually reduce a bit of overhead on the UI renderer, which in turn can slightly improve FPS consistency and system responsiveness, especially on lower-end machines. All of these small in-game tweaks, when combined, create a leaner, more responsive Fortnite environment. They reduce hidden system load, lower latency, and free up resources, allowing you to play with higher confidence, snappier performance, and a competitive edge that mirrors how the pros stay at the top. If this helped boost your performance, drop a like and sub for more pro-level tweaks. Stay sharp, and I'll catch you in the next one.